This is my patient, Dr. Shireen. During her last visit, I could not get her balance to stabilize. This is her follow-up appointment. And here we'll notice that her balance is poor initially at the beginning of the visit, and we get it corrected so she's stabilized at the end. How are you after your last visit? Uh, I feel like I have a lot more coordination when I'm playing basketball. Like my body's actually doing what I'm planning to do. I'm not losing the ball in this left arm as much as I normally was. And just feel a lot more activation in my muscles. Um, I'm not getting winded as fast or getting tired as fast. Even though I'm not playing anymore or exercising any more than what I was before. Okay. Um, what else? I got hit in the face really hard with the ball. Is this something we're going to have to fix? I don't know. I played yesterday and I was fine. Okay, let's check your balance. How are you doing? Doc, heel to toe. So this is the beginning of our balance test. And remember, balance is an indication of brain function. The body informs the brain and the brain informs the body. And so we can see the doc's balance is really off. Alright, <laughs> that's our start. On your back. Our manual muscle testing exam, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna check these major muscle groups for strength. Push this leg down towards the table. You're pushing up towards the sky. You ready? Push up. Try again, push up for me. All of the doc's major muscle groups are inhibited. Push up. So we can see she has no lower body strength and her pecs major and her latissimus dorsi muscles, which I don't show in this video, are also inhibited. So this is the doc's pattern right now. She has all those major muscle groups are not working properly. This is a tuning fork exam and what the tuning fork exam does is it actually measures how the brain perceives vibration from the right to the left side of the body. Doc. How does that feel? She's even. Compared to that. Okay. How's that? So she's good on that test. That. Here, I'm going to check her hip flexors. Her right side's good and her left side are good with her head in the neutral position. When we go to the right side, that left hip inhibits. That's abnormal. And this is normal. Here I'm checking the doc's C3, C4 area. I'm going to see if we... Be okay. What impact it will have on her muscle groups. and her balance. So now she's falling to the other side. I don't like that. Your back. So we're gonna treat her feet. Remember, we take about 10,000 steps per day. So all those muscles and joints need to be firing properly into our brain to give us input about movement. This simulates is if a person's taking a step, what would happen? And the normal response is strength like that. So those are normal. Here, I'm gonna check the doc's sacrum and her low back and her hips. So that left hamstring muscle should fire off. That's abnormal. So I'm gonna push her sacrum in one direction and see what happens. It has no change. I'll push it in the other direction. It has no change. Last time we did a... Last time I treated her, we looked at her L5. Don't let me pull. Okay, that's great. This is checking her ilium. Don't let me pull. I'm going to speed this portion up. Okay. 
So here I'm going to adjust her L5. And I want to go back and recheck some of the reflexes for the low back. Ready? Go. And those are normal. Go. Check her balance. Recheck her balance. It's not great, but it's much better. Let's check one last thing on your stomach. Here I want to confirm that all her gallant reflexes, these primitive reflexes, are normal. That's normal. I'm going to scratch you. These are some upper gallant reflexes. That should cause inhibition. That's normal. They cross from the upper to the lower. I'm going to recheck her. Heel to toe test. Heel to toe. Now it's not very fast, but the stability is really good. She can control herself from falling. This is much better than her previous visit. That's the best one I'm going to do a thoracic distraction on her. You got it. Now the speed and coordination are much more appropriate. That's what we want. Look at that. Oh, that's like... <laughs> How's that?